Hi guys, again this is your Kuya Jay with the next so why and Ang topic natin for today is physics vector addition using parallelogram method. At dahil grade 12 yun talaga akong kapatid, yung kambal, <laughs> iinisin ko sila. So, mapipilitan nilang panoorin yung sawang-sawa na sila muka. <laughs> so, let's start solving. So, today guys, I'm going to teach you how to add vectors using parallelogram method. So, if we have here vector A, and we have here vector B. You must draw a line parallel to vector A and a line parallel to vector A. So, para makagawa tayo ng parallelogram. So, to get the resultant vector, we must Draw a line from the starting point to the point where the two arrows will meet. So, this is your resultant vector. So, let me give you another example. So, if we have one vector here, let's name it vector A. And another vector here, let's name it vector B again. So, we must draw a line parallel to vector A. So, ganyan. Parallel to vector B pala. So, kailangan... Pag graphical, pag, graphical met, pag graphical method yung gagawin nyo, dapat parehas yung sukat nitong bawat isa na to. Tapos, tama yung pagkakalagay nyo. Tama yung pagkakaparallel nyo. So, draw a line parallel to vector A. So, this one. So, to get the to get the resultant vector, so, ang gagawin nyo is mo, draw a line from the starting point to the point kung saan sila nag-meet yung dalawang arrow. So, so pag graphical method ang gagawin nyo, you will just draw a parallel line. Dapat yung ginamitan nyo ng protractor ng, uh, ng ruler para so, sukatin nyo itong value nito, itong value ng R. Sukatin nyo gamit ng ruler. Doon malalaman nyo na yung magnitude nung, nung vector, yung resultant vector. Tapos, using your protractor, malalaman nyo yung, malalaman nyo yung angle nung resultant. Kung saan siya papunta. So, let me give you an example. This time, yung, gawin naman natin yung analytic method, yung Meron ng values. Meron ng values to. Tapos, I will teach you how to solve parallelogram method using analytical. So, we have one vector here named F1. So, F. And, um, let's say this is 30 degrees. And, another vector here. Let's name it Let's name it F2. And, meron siyang 70 degrees. So, let's just move it sa gilid. So, magbibigay tayo ng value ng F1, which is, um, let's say this is 170 Newton. And, F2 is 180 Newton. So, Paano natin makahanap yung resultant vector at saka yung angle niya, yung theta. So, first, we must analyze first, we must analyze the problem first. So, gawa tayo ng parallelogram, yung parang diniscuss ko kanina, nung introduction. So, so this is F1 and this is F2 must draw a line parallel to F1. Ayan. Dapat ayusin yung drawing para mukhang... Then, line parallel to F2. 
Siyempre dahil pataas yung F2 din, yun, ganun din yung tapos. To get the resultant vector, we'll draw a line from the starting point to this point. So, ganyan. Then, label it. Ayan. So, if this is your... Ayan, this is going to be alpha. <coughs> and, syempre, meron tayong original na 30 degrees dito. So, to get the to get the angle theta, we must use this. Alpha plus 30 degrees para mahanap natin yung <coughs> angle theta. So, paano naman natin nahanapin yung resultant? So, ganito yung gagawin natin. So, hmm, nagdodraw tayo ng drawing ulit natin yung parallelogram. So, masyadong mataas yung Thirty degrees. So this is thirty degrees. So F one, and this is F two. So kahit hindi na natin sundin yung exact nilang haba, basta yung angle medyo totoo, pwede natin gawin do. Kasi ano naman eh, nakabase na dahil analytical method to, nakabase tayo sa mga given, hindi sa graph natin para masulat yung resultant. So draw, yung ano natin is draw a line parallel to F2 dapat talaga medyo realistic para na-visualize natin ng maayos yung problem so, draw a line parallel to F1 yan, so so ang kailangan natin malaman is draw tayo ng draw a line dito R So, ang kailangan natin malaman is yung angle dito. Para malaman natin yung angle dito. So, paano natin malalaman yung angle dito sa magkabilang side na to? So, to know that, alam natin na this one is 70 degrees and this one is 70 degrees and this one is 30 degrees. So, ang semicircle ay mayroong 180 degrees. So, ilang degrees na lang missing dito. So, 70 plus 30 is 100 degrees. So, 100 degrees plus x. X yung, lag x yung nilalagay ko, ginagamit kong variable lagi pag may hinahanap akong value. Eh. So, x is equal to 180 degrees. Kasi nga, isang semicircle ay 180 degrees. So, move, let's move 100 degrees to the other side of the equation. So, 100 degrees. So, x is equal to 80 degrees. So, ito na yung, ito yung, ano, kaya nakuha yung value na 80 degrees dito. So, so, kailangan naman, ang next naman natin kailangan mahanap is yung angle dito sa side na to. So, to do that, let's name it x again. So, So, 2x is equal to, wait lang. So, 80 plus 80 is 160 degrees. Uh, plus 2x is equal to 360 degrees. So, ang four sides, ang polygon na may four sides, ay mer ang total angle niya ay 360 degrees. So, So, para mag-assure yan, so, n minus 2, kung sa, para malaman nyo kung saan ko nakuha yan, to, yan, n is the total number of sides sa, sa inyong polygon. So, so parallelogram has 4 sides, 4 sides, 4 minus 2 times 180 degrees. So, yan, so, kunahin natin yung nasa parent, parenthesis, so, 2 times 180 degrees, so, Final answer is 360. Ang answer dito is 360 degrees. Kaya ako na, 
Kaya ko na sabi, 360 degrees yung equals niya dyan. So, next one, eh, ang ituloy natin yung kanina. So, move natin yung 160 sa kabilang side. So, 200, ay, 360 degrees minus 160 degrees. So, pagpasensya na yung sulat ko kasi ngayon ko lang, ngayon ko lang gagamitin itong ano eh. Itong, itong device na to. Drawing tablet. So, 2x is equal to so pag minus lang natin siya divided by 2 divide both sides by 2 so answer diyan is 100 degrees so alam na alam na natin yung value ng x dito is 100 degrees so i-drawing natin to i-drawing na lang natin to as a triangle yun natin ang tawag dito na search ko Kanina lang is triangle method daw yung tawag dito sa pagkaan triangle. So, F1. Drawing natin F1. F1. And this is F2. 70 degrees. So, this is F2. And yung F3 natin. Ay, F3 hindi. Yung resultant vector, I should say. Yun. Sorry. So, this is your F2. And this is your resultant. So, alam natin dito, kakasolve lang natin na 100 degrees dito. 100 degrees dito. Tapos ito, ito yung, ito yung alpha. Tapos dito, alam natin kay, dun sa baba niya, alam natin, di ba nasabi natin kanina na 30 degrees to. Kasi originally yung F1 ay mayroon 30 degrees. So, Buburahin natin tong nasa taas kasi hindi na natin tong magagamit mamaya. Okay. Para mas mahaba yung pagsosolban natin. So, move lang natin to para makita nyo kung paano. So, to find the value of the resultant vector, yung magnitude nya ito, this one, to find this r, we should use the, we will use the law of cosine. Cosine. So, again, pagbasadya nyo na yung sulat ko kasi medyo hindi ko pa na-practice gamitin to. At saka para makatulong kasi agad, kaya excited akong gamitin sa mga senior high. Sa kanilang general physics one. So, let's start solving. So, ang formula nito, law of, law of cosine ay C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine big letter C. So, at this case, at this case, yung C natin is yung resultant. So, R squared, ito to, uh, gagawa na lang ako ng ibang, ibang video para explain yung law of cosines at saka sines para mas maintindihan nyo. Kasi hindi ko nag-i-explain to dito. So, R squared. So, yung A squared natin ay 170 degrees. Ay, 170 newton, I should say. Sorry. Again. So, squared. Plus, um, 180 newton. Square. Importante na nilalagay natin yung mga, ano eh, yung mga units. 170 newton times 180 newton cosine 100 degrees. So, to get the R, square root natin both sides para matanggal yung square sa may R. So, R is equal to so, ano yung R? Valid ng R. So, R is equal to 268.2 Newton. So, meron na tayo. Isulat na natin dito. 268.2 0.2 newton so tatanggalin na natin tong pinagsolban natin so next step naman pa ay kukunin natin yung value ng al alpha so to do that we will use the law of sines sines so Hindi ko, again, hindi ko na ituturo to. Gagawa na lang ng ibang video. So, 100 um, sine 
sine 100 degrees over meron tayong value ng r so uh, what's the value of r? 268.2 newton is equal to um, f2 yung katapat niya alpha meron tayong f2 which is 180 newton yun sin alpha over 180 newton in F2 natin. So, to solve that, ganito yung magiging kalabasan yun eh. I-multiply natin yung 180 both sides, tapos i-arc sign natin yung both sides para matira na lang is yung alpha. So, alpha is equal to 180 newton. So, dapat kailangan din marunong kayong magbalik-baliktad ng formula para makuha yung variable. Kasi napaka-importante yun, lalo na sa higher engineering subjects. Dapat alam nyo mag-cancel ng mga variables. So, 180 newton sine 100 degrees over I wait lang. So, arc sine pala. Sine inverse ng, magiging natin ng bracket para, ano, 180 newton, sine 100 degrees, all over, ay, over, 268.2 newton. So, ito yung, ito yung buong yung itatype sa calculator. So, kaya, mahalaga na may scientific calculator kayo para mabilis. So, Ang value ng alpha ay 41.4 ay 41.4 degrees 41.4 degrees So, to get the theta, sabi natin kanina na-analyze natin na kailangan mag-ano muna tayo i-add muna natin siya sa 30 degrees. So, to get the final answer, theta is equal to alpha plus 30 degrees. So, final answer dyan is, ang value ng alpha is 41.4 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to 71.4 degrees. So, this is the angle of your resultant vector. And this is so, eh, sulat natin. And, yung R na nakompute natin sa nina, 268.2 Newton. Yun yung magnitude ng R. And this is the, and this is, this 71.4 degrees is your angle. Angle ng resultant. 